Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. I'm really excited because I actually get to do a story, a really good story about a really great guy. Uh, and that guy would be my uncle Bruce. And so I'll start by telling you this. Uh, Bruce Ingram is my uncle. He lives in San Diego where we grew up. Uh, Bruce was born with uh, hearing disabilities and uh, special needs learning disabilities. Uh, when we were kids, he wore thick glasses. He wore two hearing aids, one in each ear. He could barely talk because he, he talked like someone who's deaf, who's kind of learning how to talk for the first time. And it was hard to understand. But when you grow up around him, you, you understand what he's talking about. And uh, he's just an exceptional person. Uh, always smiling, always laughing. Even He was even like that as a kid. Unbelievably good at sports. He was a natural at sports, you know. One sad regret that I have of, of his life for 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 me and uh, not for him because he's just a happy guy was that my grandmother never allowed him to play sports. Where your part, I'm actually older, <laughs> and uh, he's an unbelievable person. What makes him so unbelievable is he has just a loving and happy spirit, genuinely happy there are no airs with bruce there's no trying to get something from people there's none of that he doesn't have any of that he's just a person who's genuinely filled with happiness and joy and we grew up in very very poor surroundings but bruce is always happy and when you're kids you really don't know i mean you know you're poor but you don't realize uh the level of degree of what of, of that and for Bruce, it was never, he never cared. Those things never matter to him. Money doesn't matter to him. He's not caught up in that. He's not caught up in titles. He's not caught up in any of that. He just enjoys being alive and making other people happy. So one of the things he's been doing now for the past 30 plus years, Bruce is 54. For the past 30 plus years, every day, every morning, doesn't matter whether there's rain or shine, doesn't matter if it's cold out. He goes to the corner down the street, probably about four or five houses down from the house we grew up in, where he and my aunt Ann still live. My grandmother uh, passed several years ago. Uh, and he, But he's done this for over 30 years. He goes down to the corner. He stands in the corner every morning, same time. And he waves hello to passers-by as they're on the way to work every single day he waves and he smiles just to get them to honk and he'll say beep 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 and smile just to get them to honk and smile back see that's all he wants that makes his day by having someone honk and smile and by making their day so people on their way to work and he said people just look so unhappy so he just wanted to be able to smile and say hello he was looking to make other people happy that he has no idea who they are simply to give them something for their the start of their day to give them a little bit of joy to the start of their day he is an incredible joy spreader uh and I, I mean, we've known this as a family. He's done it for years. He's, he's done this for years. And a few years ago, he finally got recognized. He was interviewed. He's been interviewed several times by the media in San Diego. San Diego's a big city, y'all. Millions of people. So the local media there is not like the local media in a small town. They've interviewed him. They talked about the corner where he stands and, and waves hello to people. They've done uh, tributes to him. Uh, he got the people give him cards. They, 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 they wish him happy birthday. His birthday was in November. Um, and he's out there every day, just spreading joy. Cause none of the, none of those things he's not, he doesn't do it for the gifts. He doesn't do it for money. He doesn't do it to upset anyone. It's all about making people happy. Just a little bit of happiness for those few seconds as they start their day on the way to the drudgery of their jobs. And he has been doing that for 30 plus years, over 30 years. So Uncle Bruce, there's a Honk for Bruce campaign. It's phenomenal. Honk for Bruce is amazing. It's, if you can hashtag Honk for Bruce, you can see it on, on Instagram, 
Uh, he has incredible people that love him and genuinely care about him. That's what he gets. He gets the gifts and he gets the cards and he gets the balloons and they, he's been able to go to, uh, to games and to Disneyland. And I'm just so happy for him because I've worried about him for a lot of years. Like what's going to happen to Bruce? What's going to happen to Bruce? Um, when grandma passes, you know, and, um, what's going to happen to Bruce as he gets older, but he's got a lot of people who love and genuinely care about him. Not just family, perfect strangers who just enjoy how he makes them feel. And he does it unapologetically. He does it with no ulterior motive. He does it simply because he enjoys seeing people happy. So here's the Uncle Bruce. I love you. Keep doing you. If you guys would do me a big favor and go, you know, it's I, I on my Facebook page. I have a I have a little I have a blurb about that. Hashtag Honk for Bruce is your Facebook page as well. Honk for Bruce. But go and um go and like that page. Go and uh, follow him on the Instagram Honk for Bruce page, and uh, get to know Bruce. A genuinely good person. And in the times we live in now, man. To have somebody who's just interested in spreading joy no matter what is a really, really cool thing. So when you see it and when you read it, honk for Bruce. Love you, Bruce. Y'all take care.